Bleach just came back and watching it, I can't even lie, I came even harder. The way the new season looking, Ichigo might have the highest drip power level out of the big three. Easily. Or does he? Mm. We finna go through all his drippiest moments, his drippiest fits, and find out. Hold on, let me get my drip calculator out. Right off the bat, this man Ichigo is already in some beef. He fighting with a Canadian. Like, nigga, how the fuck do you manage to make a Canadian mad? Dude tries swinging on him, and Ichigo just stomps on his face. That's a zesty-ass kick, but we gonna let it slide. On top of that shit, nigga starts stomping him out. Bitch, ass, nigga, I told you. I don't want no fucking maple syrup. Shit tastes like ass. I dare one of you pussy-ass niggas try to tell me about poutine. But... But it tastes pretty good. The <laughs> fuck you say? He scared them niggas away. But let's take a moment to appreciate his drip. Look at his stance. He's only wearing his school uniform. But look how he's swagging it out. Golly. We're not going to sleep on his Gucci side bag. Like, it's definitely 10,000 drip immediately. Mm. Later that night, a bad bitch walks into his room. Rukia, of course. And this nigga starts freaking out. I can't lie. I wanted to take away some drip points for that. Because, you know what I'm saying? L or is. But he, 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 I'm going to let him slide. He put this man's hands behind his back. Got him in prime position. I don't know what kind of kinky shit he's about to get into. But before anything could happen some big ass hollow starts attacking the city shit about to eat a fucking child bro ichigo's tied up powerless but he don't give a fuck this is about to go and headbutt the creature bro we're just like no stop you can't break the thing by yourself no human without powers can nah, shut up bitch nigga grabs a chair like it's the wwe is about to go head to head with this creature he didn't even make it out the window before he got packed up though rukia the only person there who can actually fight gets packed up trying to save his stupid ass and now they're kind of just fucked who's gonna fight but here's the crazy part this nigga ichigo's a lunatic he lets her fucking stab him in the chest of the sword to get powers obviously it works because it's anime but what if this nigga was just tripping off some shrooms this whole time and he just let some random crackhead on the street stab him with a knife anyways this man evolves and becomes a drip reaper well, a substitute one, but he's still tough. Immediate plus 20,000 to his drip power level. Golly goodness. Cuts this ugly ass beast in half, and that's only the beginning to his drip journey. Mm. So Chad's over here eating these punches from these rats. Literal grunts is picking on him because they know he's not going to punch back. One of them decides that he wants to do the absolute most this evening and grabs a fucking rock. Like, OD, nigga, chill. Real nigga Ichigo not about to let his friend get sent to the hospital by some hooligans. So he comes in here, karate kicks his nigga in the head, just fucks him up. He did that shit too easily, too sleek. Look at his suit. Just give him 5,000 for that, bro. Oh my God. So now it's later in the day. Chad is having a swell evening. And Mr. Rock is here again, but this time he OD. Is this what unemployed niggas do in their free time? Wait, I'm, I'm unemployed. So they tie this man up under a bridge. Whole time, it's some grown-ass man calling the shots. Nigga, go get a job. You're a bum. Go start a family or something. Damn. Like, why is he hating on this man so much? Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got. You get some bitches on your dick, nigga. He starts taunting Chad, but Ichigo hits him like Lee Sin and literally starts running this nigga's pockets. And everybody knows what he does next. He grabs this dude's phone out of his pocket. And it's like, yup, 911. I'm, uh, I'm in an ambulance. Yeah, I got about uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five bitch niggas better get sent to the hospital. Like, we don't even get to see the violence this man inflicts upon these niggas. Give him a plus 20,000 for that. Oh my god, 40,000, plus 40,000. Mm. So we fast forward a little bit. The Soul Society wants to execute Rukia on some bullshit. They're mad because she gave Ichigo her powers when they're literally about to get nyamed on by a hollow. The fuck else was she supposed to do? Die? Anyway, it's bullshit. Everybody there knows it's bullshit. Rukia is way too fine to be executed. Nigga, if it was me, I would have flown to a rescue like Superman, bro. They would have to call me nigga, man. The way she's getting that BBC after, too. I, I need to relax. Anyways, you would think they're just gonna cut off her head like Goldie Roger. Nah, they try to burn her ass at the stake. They really had a stick that was gonna be the end for Rukia. But come on, bro. You really thought Ichigo's gonna let her die like that? He got a strict no bad bitches dying on my watch policy. It's strict. This man stopped a whole phoenix with his Zen Pukto. Zan Pakto, Zan Katana. If you haven't watched Bleach, he's basically raw dogging his sword right now. Look at his drip. He got on Sasuke's cloak, a new sick kimono, and he's wrapped up in bandages. Nah! This nigga's a drip demon. Plus 100,000. Let's give it to him. I don't know what it is about a nigga in anime that looks like he just got his ass viciously beat, but it always just adds so much drip to the fit. Anyways, job's not done. He destroys the shit locking Rukia up, and in one of the coldest moments ever, just holds her like a baby. She said, you my angel. I say, speak nothing of this. Anyway, Anyway, so he passes her to Renji like a basketball. And this is when shit gets serious. These three vice captains start chasing him. Actually, this nigga is fat as fuck, so it's really like four. But then they get stopped by Ichigo. And this nigga, he's just standing there, holding his fucking meat cleaver, menacing as all hell. They all start getting their weapons out before a big boy even gets a chance. Ichigo tackles the fuck out of him. Mind you, these are some of the strongest people in the Soul Society. And Ichigo is just handling them with his bare hands. 
Shorty on the sidelines just watching. And Ichigo is like, I see you back there. Don't think I forgot about you. These hands are ready to eat for everybody. They all got fandangled easily. But a new challenger is approaching. And this one has quite a high drip power level himself. I see you have quite the swag. Nigga, I can tell all your shit is fake. <laughs> At least the way I be smashing your little sister is real. Yep, I'm about to pack you up. This dude releases his Bankai, and this dude Ichigo with no respect just swats it away with a baby gets to get Tensho. Ichigo is not here to play games. He wants all the smoke. Ichigo's like, yo, show me your true power level, bro. Bakugan is like, nigga, say less, but don't get mad at me when you're on the t-shirt. Drops his sword into the ground, and that's when you know it's over for this nigga, bro. Surrounds him completely with sword flowers, or flowers, whatever it's called. Ichigo refuses to be outsourced in his own anime. He gets up, starts pulling out some shit. I've never seen him do in my life. Life. And then he shoots a spirit gun at this nigga. What the fuck? Oh, wait, no. Ichigo hit him with a mid battle fit swap. Nah. Plus 50,000. This nigga got a black blade now and a black kimono. Well, it was already black. But blacker. They really start squabbling now. Ichigo dodging all these flowers like mink. He's doing all this teleporting and acrobatics. Look at how he's styling on this man with a flash step. Look at him. Nigga, whose drip is fake? Blackio tries to surround him again with his flowers, but it's different now. He's a different man. Teleports behind him and just shanks him. Oh, wait, now this nigga grabbed the sword. Wait, is Blackio's drip level still higher than Ichigo's? He's done playing with Ichigo. At first, he was only using a million swords. Now, he's using a kabillion. He stabs him in the foot and then shoots a fucking beam through his chest and is about to merc Ichigo, but Ichigo grabs the sword and this nigga's tweaking oh my god it's the perk 30s again i thought i told these niggas to stay off that shit ichigo starts fighting like a crackhead with a katana running around swinging slashes all type of places laughing his head off but then he regains his consciousness and rips off his mask i don't know why he ripped the mask off he just gave back a chance that would drip him pulls out a clean ass angel fit and they both swing their final attacks at each other Sadly, Ichigo loses, but I'm not taking drip points off because he refuses to fall. You ain't always got to win to be a drip demon. I'm going to give him plus 200,000 just for that display of strength. All right, all right, all right. I know what y'all niggas want to see. That's the Lord Ichigo transformation, bro. That shit was drippy as fuck. But I'm not going to talk about in this video. Because I already talked about it in my other video. I'm going to show a quick little segment of it for my other video. And when you're done with this one, you better go and check it out. Like, even when this dude got murked in front of his bitch by Ukiyora, he was like, oh shit, the hoe's watching. Let me get over quick. And then nigga popped out. It's some literal demon drip. This nigga is literally the drip demon. Like, no one's stopping this nigga, bruh. Now back to our scheduled programming. So everybody remembers when Aizen was about to kill Renji and Rukia, but of course Ichigo doesn't let no bad bitches die. So he pulls up, saves them, and tries to get their get back against Aizen. Theme song starts playing. And this nigga stops his theme song with his finger! This handsome ass nigga just taps his fucking sword and blam, this nigga's fucked up. He may look like a nerd, but he sure as hell don't play League of Legends. This is when Ichigo gotta realize, if you wanna be the drip god, you gotta beat this nigga! Anyway, so flash forward a little bit. So this nigga Aizen was just embarrassing everybody in the Gate, Gotei. Nigga, you know what I'm saying, the Gotei 13. He had ice niggas trying to fight him, nah. Assassin bitches trying to stab him, nah. Handsome niggas trying to cut him, nah. Bull cut haired motherfuckers trying to kill him, no. This nigga is literally the drip god. I hate this nigga, bro. Why is he always trying to pack up the bad bitches? Y'all already know how Ichigo feel about that shit, though. It's the policy, nigga. Ichigo popped out looking like the newest member of Opium. This nigga looks so cool. His hair got longer. His BBC sword got longer. His cloak got longer. Nigga, he's just tougher. He looks like a dude that would drop Wilt Chamberlain like numbers in 2008, bro. All the gyal yeah, just love emo boys. Eternal darkness and somber pain, or some shit like that. Eisen saw this man and was like, "Damn, nigga, where the fuck you get that swag from?" Last time I seen you, little bro, you're getting bitched by me, man. Eisen, dude, I don't want to do this here. Okay, there's too many people around. Dog, you look like a ginger version of that one dude from Dr. Seuss. I don't know who you're talking to. Nothing to tell me where I'm gonna go. Holy smokes, dude, I said not here. This dude Ichigo grabbed this man by his forehead and forced him to go to another area. What the f- Yo! This is max level Lil Broing right now. Aizen is dumbfounded right now. He's like, there's no way he's trying to challenge me as the drip god. These two are at dangerous levels of drip right now. They blowing up mountains, cutting areas, and in half. Aizen's like, my drip can destroy your Zen pack though in one swing. This man Ichigo is petty. He hit him with the same shit he got hit with <laughs> surprised buddy this man just slowly walks up to aizen jumps and cuts this nigga oh my 
Yo! Yo, what is this? What is this power level at right now? Uh, double it, double it, double it. Aizen's not done. He gives himself up to the Hogyoku Shogunoku. I definitely pronounced that right. Starts fucking up his own drip just to kill Ichigo. Grabs him by the neck, but Ichigo is unfazed. He's like, <laughs> This is all you got, buddy? Like I said, the more fucked up you get, the sexier, I mean, the drippier you look. Ichigo's like, I think it's about time we uh, wrap this up. And this nigga transforms into the drippiest form ever seen in anime. This nigga, yo, yo, I want to hand this man my pussy. Nigga says, look at this. And that's it. He has become the drip reaper, the drip god. Kurosaki Ichigo is easily the drippiest nigga in the big three. Was never even a contest. And that's it, y'all. We just hit 4,000 subs. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching, bro. I saw that last video hit 60k. Y'all niggas making me so happy, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed this drip Ichigo check, and I'll see y'all the next one. Peace.